the total area of all surfaces. And you know what we really call those in math? Faces. Figure, object, whatever word you want to put there. Okay, so we're going to work a little bit together on surface area today. I'm looking here at the first shape. It's a pyramid. Its base is a square, and how do I know that for sure? Because I'm looking at the measurements and it's eight by eight. Picture what this shape would look like in real life. It's sitting on a square, and it has a triangle coming up from all four sides of it. So we need to find the area of the square. I'm gonna just draw it over here. And we need to find the area of tri triangles. How many of them are in here? Makai, how many triangles would be in this figure? There's four triangles, one square. If I unfolded this, it would look like this. And then if I took this and cut this out as paper, I could fold these all up so that they would meet at the top. So I've got four triangles and one square. The square is eight by eight. So to find the area of it, we're just going to multiply eight times eight. To find the area of the triangle, I have to do base times height. And inside the figure, it's telling us what the height is. Okay, so I have to do area for the triangle is one half base times height, and we have eight times five. So one half of eight times five. So let's do a little calculating here. The area of the base or the square is eight times eight, which is 64. The area of one triangle is going to be one half of eight times five. Eight times five is? Forty and divided by. One half times forty, and we get? Twenty. Twenty. How many of those do we have? We have four. Four. So we need to add them together. Sixty-four plus twenty times four. Or I could write twenty plus twenty plus twenty. But why not just multiply them, right? So then we get 64 plus 80. And what is 64 and 80? 144. 144. So the area of this figure, the surface area of this figure, is 144 centimeters squared. Which 40, this one? because there's four triangles. Okay, so I am going to help you guys start on number two and then let you go on from there. This is a regular box. Let's draw it out. This is what we call a net. This one up here was a net as well. When we can take a 3D figure and visualize what it would be like if we opened it up, like I could take this tape off of here and completely open up this shape, right? Let's mm -hmm. make this flat. So take your pencil. Uh -huh. We're going to draw the base first. That's what this is sitting on. And we're going to label it with its measurements. The bottom of this is six inches here. And what's the length of this side up here? Twelve. And then it's got these two skinny sides on either side of it, doesn't it? Yep. So I'm going to draw a skinny side here. And I could do another skinny side here. So now we've done this side and this side over here that we can't see but we know is there. 
what's the width here now? It's six. No, it's three. But it's still how long on the longest side? It's still 12. So this is three inches and this is still 12 inches. I've just drawn three parts of this box. There's three more. What am I missing? I'm missing the top, which is just like this one, isn't it? Yeah. Let's draw it over here. And you're missing the... Yeah, I'm missing these little ends here, aren't I? Yep. Let's put them off of the original. Those are the parts that make wrapping a present hard, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Those little ends. Okay, if this is six inches wide, then this little flap is also six inches wide, isn't it? Um, yeah. And then how tall is this here? Well, it matches this. When this gets folded up, this and this go together. So if this is three, then this is also three. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit and see if we can get my writing clearer. It's kind of messy because I, it's the pencil smearing a bit. But we've got two of the tall skinny ones, which is 3 by 12. These are just rectangles, so to find the area of each piece, we're just doing length times width, aren't we? Okay, so for the tall skinny ones, I've got two of them, and it's 3 by 12. So 3 times 12. Notice what I'm doing. I'm going to write up the whole surface area here and just add them together as we go. The surface area is two of these pieces and two of these little pieces. What's the measurements for our little tiny ones? It's 3 inches here and 6 inches here. So we can put two of them and it's 3 times six plus we have two more pieces and it's the very first piece that we drew the base and the top and there's two of those and so what's my area for those two it's going to be six times 12. 12. so there are a couple of ways of doing this i'm going to zoom out so we can see both up here, I took this apart and I found the area of the, the square and I found the area of the triangles and then I added them all together. Or if you can see how this all goes together, you can make one big long equation because now all I have to do is multiply 3 times 12, which is 36 and multiply that times 2. And what's 3 times 6? Okay, and 6 times 12? Is now could I multiply all of those and then have my answer when I add them all together? Just don't forget as you're doing this, the answer is going to become in inches square. Okay? Oh, thanks. So I'm looking for my answer down here to be in inches square. Okay? I am going to have you work on number three with a partner and then turn the paper over and there's six problems on the back. You don't have to start on the back with the first question. You can go to something that you want to try first. Okay. When we finish surface area today, we are doing ST math. Okay.